my name is Erin and this is my daughter Ellie and today we want to share with you one of our favorite math games called Corners. Uh, we got this game from Right Start Math, the manipulative set in the game section, which has been extremely helpful and very fun in making math more exciting for our kids. So this game talks about the basics of math and what's great is there's many varieties that you can do with this game. So we've also been able to use it when we're practicing um, money or multiplication even subtraction and division. But today we're going to just show you the basic way to play corners. Um, it's just a fun game and you get to build a little maze and it's just a great time to hang out together. So we're going to show you how corners is played. With this game, you have cards that I'll show you here in a minute and they have numbers on each side of the card. They're all different colors and they're color coded. And your goal is to make the numbers add up to 5, 10, 15 or 20 and you have to have the numbers and the colors match to be able to do that and then you just keep a running total and usually we play to about 100 or 150 depending on how we're feeling that day so we're going to show you how this game gets started you start with one card in the center you each have four cards that you play with and then there will be a pile that you draw from once you play. So this first card that we have here is the starting card. And then you decide who wants to go first, and I'm gonna go first today. And what you're trying to do here is you need to match up your colors. So right here, I have a three and a two. Those would add together to give me five. So that's an option I can do. But I also tell my daughter to check all your other options. If I do my black numbers together, two and eight gives me 10, so it's another option. And because that's a bigger number, I definitely would go with that before I play my red numbers. Now if I take it over to my blue numbers, my nine and my three are 12. So that's not an option for this game. And my seven and my nine make 16. So that's not an option either. Now you do notice that the numbers are upside down or when you come over here, they're backwards from each other. That's just part of how the game is played. But I am gonna go to this match, my two and my eight, because that gives me the most amount of points possible. So then I'll write down my score and it'll be my daughter's turn to pick her card. And we just keep our score on a dry erase board. You can keep it on a piece of paper, it doesn't really matter. You can play any of the card options that you want. So we usually go through and have her decide which card option gives her the most amount of points. And most of the time, you're gonna have more than one card that works, so you get to choose any card you want to play. Which color options do you have? You could do that one, right? What's four plus two? So does so that work? It doesn't work. Nine and the six because that makes 15 and it gives me the most amount of points. So my mom's gonna write that down on the board. Or I'll write that down on the board. And then it's your turn. And then we both draw a card after our turn to give us four cards at all times. All right, my turn. I am going to use my nine and my six. Because again, that gives me 15, the most amount of points. Again, I could have used my red, but that only gives me five, and I like to win. So I'm kind of competitive. So I'm gonna do 15. And then when I go to do my score over here, we keep a running total. And this helps with the mental math aspect. So I had another 15 points, so now I have a total of 25 right now. So we keep a running total to help her with her mental math. All right, Ellie, your turn. I choose this card so I can do my nine and my one and make another 10. And since we both had a 10 and a 15, that means we both have 25, right? All right, we both draw another card. The next card I'm going to play down here with my black numbers is my three and my seven because that's going to give me 10 points. 
Again, a running total of 35. So here is why the game is called Corners. The whole idea is to be able to fill in this spot right here. This doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's a lot of fun. The catch is your green and your blue numbers both have to work, meaning they both have to add up to five, 10, 15, or 20. So anytime we have an opportunity for a corner, I always make sure we check all of our cards to see if we have a match. And Ellie actually does have a match that will work for her corner. So she's gonna put in her next card. So she's created a corner. So how much do you have with blue? Um, five and five is 10. How much do you have in your green? 15. So now she has to mentally add 10 and 15 and she will get? 25. So now you have 25 and you're adding another 25. Think about your quarters. 40. Think about your quarters. Right. When you add 25 cents and 25 cents, what do you get? 50. There you go. Because you always have to play off the last card that was played, my only options are to play from red or black. So with this card, I could make a 10 with my six and my four, or my black would make Eight and three is 11, so that doesn't work, so I have to play off of my red numbers and that gives me 10 more points. Now Ellie has to play off the last card that I played, so if she wants to play a black number, her black and her blue also have to match, or she can play off the blue or the green and only worry about one of them and not having to match with the corner again. I'm gonna do my two and my eight because eight and two is 10. So from 50, I get 10 and six, that's 60. So now I get 60 points. So what's great about this game is the shape of the cards that you lay out is never the same. Sometimes it goes in a straight line for a long time, sometimes it zigzags back and forth. But it's really fun because you get to manipulate the numbers and decide which cards you wanna play. And the best part is when you get to build a corner. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the game. And if you are interested in getting the cards for corners, there is a link in the description for you to do that. And be sure to subscribe to the channel to learn more math games. Talk to you soon. Bye.